Hi, my name is Elisa, and I'm a technical support analyst on the Vertica Studio team. With the retirement of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript 3.x, you may be wondering what the process is like for transitioning your Geocortex Essentials sites to the newer Vertica Studio web platform. In this Tech Tip video, we'll be looking at some key principles for making the transition process smoother. The main thing to keep in mind is that Vertica Studio Web runs on a different platform than Geocortex Essentials, so it's best to think of it as new software rather than a different version of your existing setup. The benefit of this is that you can have both Essentials and Web running at the same time without conflict. You can develop your new applications without impacting your existing users. Transitioning to the new platform offers an opportunity for assessing your apps and evaluating what capabilities your users truly need. You can optimize your tools, add new functionality, and modernize the look of your applications to keep them feeling fresh. Before we dive in, it's important to understand the differences between Geocortex Essentials and Vertigo Studio Web. One feature you may notice off the bat is that Vertigo Studio Web is more closely integrated with ArcGIS Online and Portal for ArcGIS Enterprise. This means that your apps and most of their contents will be stored in Portal or ArcGIS Online instead of being stored in a folder on the server. It also means that ArcGIS identities are necessary for signing into Web Designer and secured apps. Once you sign into Web Designer and open a new app, you may notice that the interface looks rather different from Essentials Manager. Unlike Essentials Manager, you are shown an interactive preview of your app. This allows you to test out changes in real time. It is also possible to customize the layout to suit your needs. The application is made up of modular components that can be added, removed, and rearranged to change the appearance of your app. Since a single app can have multiple layouts, there's a significant amount of flexibility in what you can design. Finally, one of the most important differences between Essentials and Web is that Web utilizes ArcGIS Web Maps. Instead of having information on map surfaces stored in a site XML file, they are saved in a web map that can be easily shared between different applications. Since web maps can be published directly from ArcGIS Pro and are also used in Esri applications like Experience Builder and Story Maps, they can help you consolidate your work and save time. Let's take a quick look at how to configure some simple settings in the web map. Here, we have Esri's Map Viewer. Let's try adding a layer from ArcGIS Server using its URL. Over in the Properties panel, we can configure its pop-up. Let's add a text element and summarize a few important details about the feature in a couple sentences. Now, let's look at the fields list. We don't need all of these fields to be visible, so let's remove some of them. Finally, let's add a chart to help users visualize the data. Now we can save the web map. Back in Vertica Studio Web Designer, we can open up the map component settings and select the map we just created. As you can see, when I select a feature, the Feature Details panel opens up with all of the pop-up information we just configured in the web map. Though the best way to get to know how web maps work is to build them from scratch, we do offer a tool to help you copy your mapping data from your Geocortex viewer into a web map. To use it, you must be able to sign into Essentials Manager and your viewers using an ArcGIS identity. Since the tool saves the web map to ArcGIS Online or Portal, the Windows sign-in method will not work. To get started, let's open up the Viewer's Toolbar settings in Essentials Manager. In the list of available tools, we want to scroll down to the ArcGIS section and drag the Save to ArcGIS tool into the toolbar. Now, let's apply the changes and save the site. Once that's done, we can launch the Viewer and sign in. Again, it's very important to sign into ArcGIS Online or Portal for ArcGIS Enterprise, otherwise the tool will not work. Once we're signed in, the Save to ArcGIS button becomes available in the toolbar and we can click it. Let's give our soon-to-be web map a title. When we open it up in ArcGIS, we have a web map that includes the mapping data from the old app. When using this tool, there are a few important considerations for how your mapping data should be configured in Essentials. 
To learn more, please see the considerations when using the Save to ArcGIS tool article in our support center. Now, all of that is great if you just have a straightforward viewer, but what happens if you have workflows, reports, and print templates? If you're still using XAML and RPX formats, these cannot be imported into Vertica Studio. However, Vertica Studio workflow, reporting, and printing are compatible with both Vertica Studio Web and Essentials. This means that if you already use these newer formats, there is less work involved in the transition process, and if you haven't quite gotten started with them yet, you can explore them first before making the switch to Vertica Studio Web so that you can adjust more gradually to the new software. When it comes to Vertica Studio Workflow, there are a few things to keep in mind for the transition from the GeoCortex viewer to Vertica Studio Web. First of all, each viewer type has a slightly different activity library so you will see different activities based on which deployment you have selected. Web has more activities than the GeoCortex viewer does, so building workflows exclusively for web may offer you more options than building workflows for both web and GeoCortex, or just GeoCortex. Secondly, workflow activities that are tied to information coming directly from the viewer may behave differently or require different inputs. For example, the get layer activity might be configured like this for the GeoCortex viewer, and like this for the same layer in web. Finally, viewer commands and operations in Vertica Studio Web are different from those in GeoCortex. So if your workflow contains any run command or run operation activities, they will need to be modified for the transition to go smoothly. To summarize, transitioning from Essentials to Vertica Studio Web offers an opportunity to assess and modernize your apps. As far as differences go, Web is more closely integrated with ArcGIS Online and Portable ArcGIS Enterprise. It has customizable modular layouts, and its mapping data is stored in a web map instead of a site XML file. We looked at how to make a web map in Esri's Map Viewer, as well as how to export a web map from a GeoCortex Viewer. Finally, we learned that RPX templates and XAML workflows cannot be imported into Vertica Studio. However, Vertica Studio workflow, printing, and reporting are compatible with both platforms, meaning you can simplify the transition process. Though adopting new technology can be daunting, it also has the potential to usher in new and exciting opportunities. Your GIS applications have grown and developed over the years, and now it is time for them to take the next step to Vertica Studio Web. If you're interested in having any part of the transition process done for you, or would like in-depth consultation on how to move forward with it, our professional services team may be able to help. For inquiries about this, please reach out to your account manager.